I always say as the brightness gets brighter, so does the darkness get darker. So you got to understand that as the Lord continues to anoint his people, to appoint his people to certain things, as he is raising up judges, as he is bringing so many into their callings and giftings, the enemy is not pleased. It's always like this. You know, it's a spiritual battle. We're wrestling and wrestling in Roman times was about not falling. So stay 10 toes down for the Lord and just be aware that the enemy, piece of hair in my mouth, the enemy is coming for, well, everybody, you know, everyone who's on fire for the Lord, expect some type of spiritual warfare or attack, expect it. And don't do so in fear, but be bold in the spirit. You have the Holy Spirit, which has authority over the enemy. We just need to be aware of the enemy schemes and that awareness is going to come by understanding that your peace, your faith, your joy is what the enemy wants to take from you. This is what he attacks. So walk more boldly in these things. Praise more, praise more loudly. Worship in spirit and in truth more soundly, I hear. Be absolutely on guard against temptation and against things that formerly were and know that the enemy comes for what is not totally submitted to the Lord. He's going to poke at your sensitive spots. He's going to poke at what you kind of skipped out of the healing process of. So this is the time. This is the time to fully submit to the Lord. We always need to be fully submitted, but this is a time to check in and really ask the Lord, you know, even for those of you who have been through healing, ask the Lord to continue tilling the soil of your heart. Ask the Lord to continue growing you and healing you and perfecting you. Cover your bases. Some people might call me anal, but you know what? I cover my bases because one thing I don't really do well with is being caught off guard. Anyone can be bold in the spirit, but then you have, you know, that off day and you kind of, you fall to something, you fall into your sin nature, you fall into something. And before you know it, an off day is an off week. And we can't afford that. Understand that the enemy is coming for everybody who's on fire right now. The enemy is coming for everybody who's on the front lines right now. Lukewarm people, he can't be bothered with. Anybody who's not doing damage to the kingdom of darkness isn't getting bothered. People that concern themselves with, you know, the, the fallacies, with, with this world superficialities, with God's hand over his face, the enemy can't be bothered with these people. He's coming for those that are a threat to the kingdom of darkness because if he can kill your faith, then he can kill the faith of all those that you are helping. Every single one of you who's on fire for the Lord, there's eyes on you. And I don't mean a bad way. I mean like your families, your communities, your friends. People see the Lord working through you. You don't realize that, but people see the Lord working through you. Continue to be bold. Continue to be on fire for the Lord. Do not be swayed by enemy attacks. Stay 10 toes down for the Lord. No matter what, I need you to put your, keep your armor of God on. James 4, 7, submit to God, resist the enemy, and he will flee. But best to believe he'll come back. He's looking for specific people at this time because, again, we've had all these words lately about the Lord is raising people up. He's raising his leaders up. And we know, I mean, we can apply wisdom to this to understand that leaders are going to be needed. Why would leaders be needed? Because when things come to this world, people go into fear and leaders are needed to pull people out of that fear, to walk in boldness through the darkness, to lead others. Satan doesn't want that. That's the last thing he wants. Stay on guard. Understand that, yes, this is a spiritual battle, but one that the Lord Jesus overcame at Calvary is your job not to be swayed by enemy attacks. It's your job to stay on guard. And you know how we do that? By leading with love. Do not get caught 
with your spiritual pants down. Do not get caught in spiritual battle and you're battling in a way that's of your own accord because you will fall. You will fall. Only the authority of God overcomes the authority of the enemy. And the authority of God says, submit to me, resist the enemy, and he'll flee. Our own authority will get us really tripped up. Do not war of your own accord. Keep your eyes open. Stay awake. Continue doing the work of the Lord. Continue walking into what he's calling you into. But yes, expect interference, turbulence. He can't take the plane down, but he could try to rock it a little bit, and that's always uncomfortable. Just remember, you're only headed in one direction. He cannot overcome you, but he can, he can shake right we had that word the other day about the sifting you know what is allowed is allowed i mean the enemy pushes it you know he does he is satan for a reason because he is rebellious and he rebels against god and he rebels against god's people but no matter what the authority of god overcomes him no matter what james 4 7 no matter what you are in the driver's seat because you submit to God. Every demon must bow. Every demon must flee. Whatever is unclean cannot overcome you. All who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. And, you know, things begin in the spirit first and then they hit here. So, um, you know, I've been prophesying about this year upcoming. It's going to be an oppressive year. This is the time to put everything that you've learned into play. The enemy is not going to stop coming. He wants you in your feelings. He wants you exalting your feelings over the truth of God. It's an illusion. He casts illusions and delusions. And listen to me. Remember all those words? Yes, I just came to me. All those words about check your camp, check your camp. The enemy is going to be trying to come through whoever he can to come for you. Let things that aren't right that you're hearing go in one ear and out the other. Don't be surprised. You know what Holy Spirit sounds like. If it didn't come from Holy Spirit, it's not for your ears. In one ear and out the other. Don't put yourself in harm's way. Consider the things that the Lord has delivered you from and make sure those doors are, are, are closed. I'm just getting instruction as I speak. Consider the things that you've been delivered from and make sure those doors are closed. Anything that comes that, that looks like what it used to be, don't entertain it. This is not the time. This is not the time. You have to use the wisdom that the Lord's given you. Keep old doors closed. You will be tempted with the former things. You will be tempted with the former things. The Lord is for you. He's with you. He's with you. And though the enemy be against you, again, this is like a delusion. If you feel, I've spoken about the paper mache walls before. Sometimes the enemy will, will like suggest something to you. He'll impart something to you. And if you don't discern the voice that it's the voice of the enemy, all of a sudden you're going to feel like a block in the spirit. This is not real. And as you push through it, because it's paper mache, suddenly it's going to lift. I know that's not very specific. I apologize. The enemy wants to put limitations on you, but you're free. The enemy wants to say that things are like this, but they're, they're not. Don't be deceived. Walk in freedom. Walk in boldness. Walk in praise. Walk in worship. Love, love, love. Love is what overcomes. All is well with your soul.